Aloha, Kevin from Ocean Janitors, putting in the work. Hey, I hope everyone's doing good. Hey, just real quick, if you guys have ordered shirts and you're waiting for them in California, they're sitting here in a stack and they're going to be heading your way pretty soon. So um, hopefully you get them real soon. And um, hey, I wasn't going to make a video today because I'm a little tired, but you know what? I had such an awesome dive day today and just had such a great dive day today that I said, hey, you know what? I got to jump on here and share it with you. I got my uh, two dive buddies back. I got my wife back and uh, we went out and got some trash out today, some rubbish. And I also got my other dive buddy back, uh, my buddy Gary. And um, he likes to play behind the scenes role. He doesn't like to be on the camera. But anyways, um, he actually had um, eye surgery done. So um, man, he got he can see now. So when we go down there and he's got eels right next to his face, um, he can actually see them and not get his face ripped off. So that's always good. <laughs> but anyways, hey, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, this is a great video of some freaking crystal clear water and just shows um, some rubbish we're getting out and some fishing line and stuff like that. And um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great week. And um, thanks for watching. And God bless. Enjoy. Here we go. What an absolutely beautiful day. Heading out for another great dive in Hawaii. And here's Gary, he's heading down and he hasn't dove in here in probably close to eight weeks. And um, he had eye surgery and um, he said it was pretty amazing to be able to see again, so that's pretty cool. Now when he has eels come up, like I've said before, they won't bite him in the face, he'll be able to uh, see them and get away. And there I go. And if you can see that, man, I mean, it, it is just epic water. I mean, it almost looks like I'm just floating in thin air. If it wasn't for the bubbles, you would think I was. Just absolutely great visibility. This is actually uh, summertime visibility in Hawaii. Um, you usually don't get this. Now, I make some uh, other videos in here. This this is from uh, a couple days ago, but it's the same dive site. So I wanted to throw that in here. And the visibility is not as good, um, but it really shows some of the stuff that we uh, have to tackle down in this area, getting the fishing line off of the coral but man look at that we were just really getting whipped around that day <laughs> it was nothing like today today was totally calm and totally beautiful so if you see me getting whipped around it probably wasn't uh today that i was diving so today was perfect you see we use surgical scissors to cut the line out to where we don't cause any more damage to where we don't get any more coral broke off it's just a great effective way to do it beautiful tropical fish yellow tang surgeon fish butterflies and a video would not be complete without a beautiful ponu, beautiful turtle. Man, swimming up on this guy was just beautiful. They just swim around so graceful, so awesome. He was just chilling out, trying to find something to eat. More tropical fish. And who's that guy over there upside down? Ah, that must be Kevin putting in the work. Trying to find some more fishing line. There's my camera guy, shows up, or camera girl.
getting that fishing line off. What happens is that fishing line will actually choke out the coral and literally kill it. And so by getting that off, we save the coral. For all these beauties, beautiful tropical fish. There's more video of the turtle. He was just hanging out for a long time. Now, I love this video. So while I'm working and I'm not paying attention to what's going around on around me, all of a sudden you'll see something pop up here, which is pretty cool. Watch the background. Wait a minute. Here we go. Look at what popped up behind me. <laughs> I didn't even know that he was swimming back there. If it would have been a shark, I wouldn't have made it out, I guess. This is obviously a popular fishing spot, but that's why it's important to go ahead and clean them out. And there's a spear. Found that way underneath the rock, way underneath the coral. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, more tropical fish, beautiful guys. Absolutely beautiful. Here's an anchor that I don't know if someone placed it down there or if someone lost it. Either way, it's there. Makes a cool little scenery. And here's some crown of thorns. We're taking care of them babies, getting them off the reef. And this new method seems to be working out pretty good and we peel them off of the coral so it doesn't die. And we let the fish and the shrimp take care of business. Clean up the dirty work. And here's another one, same thing. Peel it off that coral, just save that coral. A lot of people are trying to generate new corals. I say, let's do that, but let's also save the ones we've got. That's why we do what we do. There's an awesome eel, little guy hanging out. Beautiful coral head with the fish hanging out. And here's a really good example of coral that needs the fishing line off. Now, if you remember that last screen with the fish in it, there's no fish going to hang out in this coral head, not with that around it. And it's very important for the fish to um, be able to hide in the coral heads to where they can be protected from predators. And um, if they have line all in them or if they're destroyed and they don't have them, then they cannot hide and they can't uh, protect themselves so then they just get eaten and they go away so it's very important to have them uh, protected and have hiding places for them to go now this spot is called the crack this is just an awesome spot from the top of the water to the top of that ridge right there it's about 45 feet and then it goes down in another 30, 35 feet straight down. That right there is the eggs for a Spanish dancer, which is a form of nudie branch. And um, if you've never seen a Spanish dancer, Google it. It's pretty awesome. They're really cool to see. Um, but yeah, that's the eggs. And look at this, man. 
me and Gary are talking to each other underwater. We're doing our, our uh, sign language. And um, it's a wonder we ever get anywhere communicating like that. But anyways, look at the beautiful, pristine water. And again, a beautiful coral head. And you always got fish hiding out, using that as a protection from prey. And there is a lot of uh, damage. You can see a lot of damaged coral heads that um, probably won't come back, but we try to save the ones we got and try to you know, get new ones to be able to grow. This was very, very entangled. Line goes way down. You might say, well, why don't we just leave it on there that coral's already damaged. Well, what about all the fish or the turtles that could get tangled up in that fishing line? It's not only about the coral heads, especially if they're completely gone and can't recover. Uh, we want to make sure that we save the animals that could get caught up in it, even eels. And that, that line actually had a really huge hook on the bottom of it. So we got that and there's vana or sea urchins. Um, you want to stay away from that. I put those in there because you want to make sure you stay away from that. Those different colored ones like gray or white and black, man, those things will really mess you up even worse than the, the black ones. So from what I understand, I haven't had ex the experience with that. So very happy about that. Beautiful yellow tang. There's a lot of fish out this day. More fishing line on coral heads. And we try to be meticulous about not damaging it more than necessary. Not breaking it. There you go. Another coral saved. <laughs> this was pretty funny. We found this bottom of this um, shoe. So <laughs> you just never know what you're going to find. There's another view. Buried under the sand, but hey, we got it. We found it. Very cool. Gotta get that trash out. This spot right here is just epic. It's one of my favorite places to dive. It reminds me of a river and it's just such a cool spot and when we were going through here today we ran into this little box fish and he's just swimming around swimming around ah what a cute little guy these things are really really cool he was just hanging out and then we just continued on up this valley which is just so cool the topography is just unreal very cool And again, another angle coming through that valley up into a swarm, a school of fish. Pretty cool. I 
had to put this video in here because this is a rock mover and this is uh, Gary's, my dive buddy's favorite fish. And so I had to throw that in there for him. It's a rock mover. They are so cool. And this right here is our exit point and it goes to the beach. And if you look, you can kind of see the water's a little bit murky on the top. You see a thermal climb. And normally it's the whole thing, man. It's just all murked up. So this was super, super clear. And sometimes you can't even, you wouldn't even be able to see me right there. And some of the trash we got out. And we thank you greatly for watching. We appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.